All right, so I got my Akira 35th edition box a little bit early, so I'm actually pretty psyched because I was sitting here studying and I was just about to take a break and I looked out my window and I saw UPS, which I um, this is ordered from Amazon and it's shipped with shipped from with UPS. So, but I mean, I'm kind of scared to uh, unbox it because there is a little indention here. And I was saying, I was looking on Amazon reviews and a lot of the recent reviews, once these came back in stock, well, we got like another wave of them, was that they were double boxing them. Like they learned from all the past reviews and they started to double box. But it looks like mine is just a single box. It looks pretty snug in there. It doesn't feel like there's another box. So I don't know. So let's unbox it and see. And hopefully there's no damage from that indention. Alright, so I just opened it up with my handy dandy keys because I did not want to use a knife in order to open this thing just in case. No sharp objects, but wow, I'm actually very surprised. Amazon double boxed. <laughs> wow, double boxed. I'm actually like genuinely surprised because I was thinking that the box would be a little bit bigger than what it is. So it looks like the box is this size, not this size. So I didn't know how big the box was. It looks bigger um, in pictures, but double box. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and show you guys. But A plus from Amazon, A plus. All right, so I just took the tape off and opened it up. So here we go. This is the box that was on the inside of the last box there. I just set it back on the table here. Well, let's go ahead and take off this cover. So just a little, go ahead and throw that over there. But I have to say, this is one of the best packages that I've gotten from Amazon as like in terms of packaging. Amazon is not notorious for its packaging, and I usually buy my books through Amazon because they are a little bit cheaper than Barnes and Noble. But if we don't have too many bookstores here, and they don't carry some of the old stuff that I that I like, like I got my Star Wars novels and stuff. I, even though I didn't get them from Amazon, but still, <laughs> but I do order some of my books from Amazon. So some of my books have came damaged, whether it be you know, albeit you know it's minor damage, but. You know, maybe just a scoff there or, you know, nothing too major to where I want to send it back. But this is by far. So if you're getting the Akira edition, thir the Akira 35th anniversary edition from Amazon, it will come shipped very well. But here it is, guys and gals. Akira 35th anniversary box here. It's still in the plastic, but I'll just give you a walk around of it. As you can see from the initial box, which covered the whole table, and I took that box out of the other box, which covered a little bit. But now you can kind of see, I kind of have it centered just for a little size comparison, if you will, of how big it is, how initially big it was versus how big it is now. So. But I'm going to go ahead and take out the plastic and open it up. All right, here it goes. Right here. Took it out the plastic. Give you a little walk around of it. Back is basically just kind of the front side there. But this is uh, comes with this little cover right here, which basically just tells you what's in it. Gives you a little introduction, a little synopsis or whatever, and tell you what it includes. I'm kind of really excited for that um, Akira Club book there. And I just ripped it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Adventures of Wayne. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I did not see <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter, but still, this is not... <laughs> Very good start. I'm kind of, kind of scared to open the books now. All right. But that's a little paper. Nothing on the back there. We're just going to toss that. 
Oh, okay, she came back. Oh, let's take this tape back off here. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. And people were saying that it was magnetic, which it is a little bit of a tug to get it up, but magnet on both sides there. But here we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Goes a patch on the side down there. I'm gonna put that on my backpack. <laughs> but wow, look at that. Box undamaged. Looks brand new. So they had a very good storage for it. Sometimes I've I received books from from Amazon sometimes and they will be you know older older releases but you know they're obviously new books because no one's just owned them but they will still come in kind of like they weren't stored in the best of conditions maybe in a big warehouse temperature temperature um control wasn't that great because sometimes i've got hardened covers that the glue is just so stiff from being like in constant temperature changes when you have a book in very high temperatures, the glue kind of like on hard covers that's kind of have glue in them too. It'll even with paperbacks too, they'll it'll melt and kind of rebond and it makes it very stiff. Just that glue that keeps the backing on, but that's kind of the bottom there. But these are the books you get the full manga collection with the Akira Club. Each one of these books has a dust jacket on it. And I'll be showing you each book individually in a couple of shots just to let you see how it looks. But this is just the first book. I'll go ahead and let you guys see it. But here you go. This is the first volume it looks like. You have Akira by Kishiro Otomo, which is a 35th anniversary, um, anniversary editions by... I forgot how you say it, Kondosha Comics, Kondosha Comics, but what I was very curious on that I didn't get to see with the other reviews of this box was when were the, when were the books printed? Because these are kind of a re-release of the 35th Anniversary Edition, um, Anniversary Edition, can I say Anniversary for some reason, but I was thinking, are the books printed in 2017 or before, or are they printed after? Like, what editions are these? Was what I always wondered. And I'll see if I can show you guys. Uh, yeah, here you go. So, it looks like it doesn't have whether or not it's a first edition or not. Cause I know in novels, it, it tells you that's just copyright. So it doesn't look like it says here, unfortunately. But that was just something that I always wanted to know that I didn't get to see in other reviews. But that is probably why. Here's just a little preview of the first book here. Akira, this is with the dust jacket on. I'll let you guys see the spine. Very, very beautiful book. No damage. They all look brand new. I'll just give you, I'll only show the first couple of colored pages. Maybe one of the um, first panels on the first page of the black and white. But that's the back of the book there. I'll show you guys without the dust jacket here. And I'll go into B-roll of all the other volumes with and without the dust jackets. And as you can see, a little synopsis there. I'll read it, don't. Acura Yellow. This is obviously each book has its own color scheme. And this one is yellow, so I'll show you guys just fine. If I can grab it here. Absolutely beautiful book. It actually wraps around the book. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful.
beautiful editions. I'll show you guys the first couple of color pages. Part one. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful artwork. Man, it's absolutely beautiful. First black and white page here. I'll show you guys some of the panels on the first page. Show you how those how they look. And um onomatopoeia. Um these versions are um from right to left, so original manga format. And they only trend they try to keep it as close to his original work as possible. So they only translated um, dialogue it looks like it looks like onomatopoeia is not translated so that is something that you guys should know and there is an index in the back of the book well more like more so a glossary of all of the onomatopoeias but you know if you if you've read a, um mangas or really comics in general even western comics you know you can kind of figure out the the noises here you know what i mean you kind of figure out the booms and the you know, but if you really want to have it down to science and kind of memorize them, you can refer to the glossary in the back. But that's all I'll show that. I have B-roll of, of all the other books. But I'll go ahead and show you guys hands-on the um, uh, um, Akira, the Akira Club Edition. Just so you guys know, this book has some considerable weight to it. It's all, It weighs almost as much as if not more than the first volume. I picked it up and I was very surprised by it. But um, what I did know was that there's a dust jacket on this one and it kind of like has a hole in the middle. I did not know that. No one said anything about that, about that dust jacket, but it is without the, the front cover. Just kind of, you know, I like that. It actually looks very, very well done. Go ahead and show you guys. Uh, is this from right to left or left to right? I wonder. It looks like it's uh, from left to right. This is the memory of Akira lives on in our hearts. Oh man, I cannot wait to go through this. I might go through this after I finish the series. Just, you know, when I have that postpartum. <laughs> That postpartum book depression, I, I'll be able to go back through and look at some artwork and kind of get some get some lore on the back on the creation and, and all the pre and post production. But look at that, that's just beautiful artwork. Man, so I guess I'll tell you guys as I flip through a couple of these. Um, I got into uh, Akira man i want to say this year i'm I'm a big reader but uh i mostly read science fiction and, and um uh fantasy if you couldn't tell by my little small shelf but i have more books but they're all on the wall i kind of have like a wall kind of bookshelf but that's just a small case because so, i was overflowing but um i really i really i watched a movie and i was just so mesmerized by it and the soundtrack everything i was like man this is this is some good stuff so i watched it one time and i was like yeah i gotta read the manga because the i got into manga this year actually um i picked up some horror some um some horror mangas which i got a uh, gaio and uzimaki over there and I read, I think, I believe Gaio was the first manga I ever read. And then I started to pick up, uh, I picked up Death Note and kind of just went went all in from there. But like the last, um, the last manga that I read was the first three volumes of um, A Jin, Demi Hume, which is on Netflix. And that was, I'm pretty sure those are some good books too. But back to Akira. 
I was really mesmerized by the movie. So I just decided instead of rewatching the movie again, I'm going to pick up the manga because I love to read. And so if, if there's a chance for me to pick up anything that's a book, I'm going to go pick it up. So why not get these? Uh, if you're planning on reading it, all right, look at that. If you're planning on reading it, just go ahead and get the box set because if you want all the editions anyway, you're gonna end up spending over $100. So you might as well just drop the extra 10, 15 bucks, depending on where you are, and the sale that you get. Uh, you might as well just spend the extra money to go ahead and get the hardcovers, dust jackets, the Akira Club edition. You get one more book, the Akira Club edition, which was rare, I believe, because they went out of print until recent, <coughs> until, excuse me, until recently um, with these re-releases of 35th um, anniversary box. So you get all of that and you get the patch down there, which I'll show you guys maybe later if I decide to put it on my backpack. But it's just this is just the best deal to get. And if you're gonna get it through Amazon right now, they had it on sale. So that's why I am making this video just for other people who might get it and wanna see what it looks like. But. Um, that's a cure club. anniversary box if you if you like the movie if maybe you read the first volume and, you, and you're thinking about picking them all up just get them in hardcover I mean you, you're gonna have them for a while and these might go out of print who knows they might keep keep them in circulation but still you're still getting a deal regardless so hope you guys enjoyed the video like and subscribe if, if the video if you got something from it I will be releasing more videos to come fantasy science fiction pop culture things manga now so a little a little bit of study with me so stay tuned subscribe see you guys in the next video bye